Oh, easy. <laughs> it looks so joyful. Good morning. Welcome to week four of our Bob watch. Bob is a red-tailed hawk chick, uh, son of Gertrude and Frank, who have lived here for many, many years. And this is our third year trying to record their uh, beautiful little chick at the at our nest. It's uh, near a, a major highway, so please excuse the traffic sound in the background. Uh, we just been a couple of days since we last saw Bob. Uh, we went out on a camping trip to uh, feed the bugs. Oh, I mean, to celebrate my son's birthday. <laughs> um, if you can't tell, this isn't measles. It's uh, a lot of bug bites. You gotta beware of going into the Adirondacks in the spring. The bugs are big enough to carry you away. Or so the joke goes. Um, but anyways, fingers crossed we'll get to see Bob this morning. Actually, I think he's just barely peeking over the top of the nest. It's hard to tell. The leaves are fully leafed out, so it's more difficult to see the, the nest from right here. So I'm going to jump in the creek and take a little walk to the spot where I have a good view. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> I was right. Bob grew a lot in the last two days. Look at him up there. You'd hardly know it was the same tiny little white chick that we saw in the first week. Look at him sitting up there. Good morning, Bob. How are you this fine morning? Oh, peekaboo. Oh, you sing so pretty. Do it again. Oh, that's the cardinal behind me. <laughs> there she goes. Bob is a very big chick. Soon to be fledgling. Uh, looks like he's looking down at something. Something below him's got his attention. He's looking down to one side. I don't, not sure if it's something down in the nest or on the ground below him. just look down for a moment and uh, he's starting to get the adult plumage on the very tip top of his head. So that's kind of interesting to see and observe. See how long his legs are. Looks like he's got much better balance than he did last week. action. Probably grabbing the balance. 
to her balance. You see that big tadpole, the froglet? Right underneath that blade of grass. <laughs> you never know what you're going to find in the stream. It's full of life. Kind of look funny at this age because the with the fe new feathers on their body they look so big, but then their heads are so itty bitty because they haven't grown their adult feathers yet. Uh, right now, Papa's doing a little bit of preening, which is good. It keeps them healthy. I think he's looking for Gertrude. I think she's soaring up really high. So you're gonna go back to preening? Yep. I wonder just how big the nest is. I know it's got to be really old. At least five, six years, if not ten. But when a hawk of that size can lay down and just poke his head up, he looks really tiny. But when he stands up, he looks really big. And how big is, how big or deep is the the hole in the middle and just exactly how big around is it oh we've got a wing stretch That's, what's he doing oh, I'm gonna move around a little there's a bug doing push-ups on your gimbal up there, yeah, not that, this mm. video head. It's very hot the gimbal. He's just climbing up. I thought he'd be fine here, but he just wants to go up there. I think he wants to get on the camera. What's the birdie doing? Oh, there we go! Hey, moved. Spread those wings for a second. There. He was about to drop. Oh, we've got some good action. Oh, I see him. 
too big. He is gigantic. Now I can see him. Also, he was about to drown as well. The other one's still on. That guy was on another blade of grass. He's gonna put snails all over my tripod. Oh, look. Balance, balance. Yep. Yep. Do it right. Spread, Spread those wings. Or is he getting ready for a butt chuck? Butt chuck. <laughs> it might be a butt chuck. Is it? Is it a butt chuck? No, he's just kind of... Hmm. Confetti! Nope, no confetti. Did he? Oh, there we go. Confetti? Yeah, I think he just did a confetti cannon. Did he just... Did he just... Oh, wow. Now he's gonna lay down. Obviously. He just had the poo. That's what that was all about. Flap, flap the poo out. <laughs> I think Bob is working on getting his courage to walk on the branches. It looks like he's sitting on the nest, but I just saw him reach out and hold the branch with one of his feet. So I'm thinking he's kind of right on the edge of the nest, but on a branch. I see wings. Are you coming? What are you doing? I see wings. Are you coming? What are you doing? I see wings. Are you coming? What are you doing? It's about 7.30 at night and things are winding down. Uh, just before I come down the trail, I heard um, Gertrude screeching. She was on a branch above the nest and then she took off and uh, I got down here, Bob was like laying down, and now he's just up and doing what you're seeing. <laughs> Good night, Bob. Sweet dreams. Hope to see you in the morning.
in my shoes. Alright. Are you gonna get moving now? Or do something for us? A bug on that trunk? Yeah! Woohoo! Go, Bob! Woo! Aw, what'd you stop for? Oh, I hear Mama. He did a jump and flap. I see Mama flying by in the sky. It doesn't look like she's circling though. She's kept right on going over 81. get tired just a few little flaps oh 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 <laughs> on your nose <laughs> good try Bob been waiting a couple of hours for him to do something like that. Oh, here we go again! Yay, Bob! What's up? Oh, where are you going, Bob? Bob's got some pretty long legs. It's gotta be right up just about on the edge. Or the rim of the nest. Picking at something. Bob lost the head. No, Bob is preening. Again, it's amazing how they can twist their heads around right backwards. It's got to come in handy, especially if you have an itch on your back. So if you preen in the tail feathers. I just took a little bit of video. My son just informed me that I had a snapping turtle like inches away from me. It was right behind me and I was I was filming Bob here. Okay. Right here. Looking up through those blades of grass. She's big old snooper, snapper. Living. 
see that yellow eye? I think he might be thinking about biting That's your a phone. little bit red around his beak. I'm staying well away from him. And there's the scoots of his shell. And he's got part of his tail buried in the sand. It's just a little one. Let's see. I don't know how well this video is coming out. There it is. So there's there's the tail. He's looking at you. He's looking at you. He's looking at you. Yeah, we're looking at you. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky snapping turtle. A sneaky, sneaky snapping turtle. Yep, sneaky snapping turtle. He's very sneaky. I bet you just quietly swam down from there and You can see his nose. He's probably got to come up for air here soon. Oh, he's moving his nose. He just moved a little bit. Oh, he's coming up. Gotta lift his head to get some air. I don't know if you can see him on the video or not. <laughs> I just happened to notice and think of that. Oh, <laughs> hi! <laughs> you can see that wave. Why do you used to do that? He'd be really, really one of the laziest birds you ever met. He, uh, he just lay in the nest and just wave. He wouldn't, didn't want to get up and jump and flap up and down. He'd just like, okay, hello, <laughs> with a wing and set it down. <laughs> he started getting a little more active though once, once Sky started getting out on the branches. So it wasn't quite so crowded in the nest. There's one of nature's hoovers, as my son calls it. It's massive. That's a decent sized snapper tur snapping turtle. He was going to jump down in the creek and thankfully saw him just in time. At first I thought he was a rock that had moved in, but I'm like, no, wait, that's a snapper. He's slowly making his way down the stream. Never know what you're going to find. This is the third snapping turtle we've seen down back here. The other two were much smaller. Okay, stay back. We want to observe him, not upset him. Like, what? He's got his eye on us. Let's see if I can he is massive. zoom. There, zoom right up in on him. Or her. Hoover. Nature's Hoover. That's what we'll name him. Hoover. <laughs> Hello, Hoover. Hello, who look? Hoover, you have a hitchhiker. There's a little snail on your shell. Are you both moving house? How <laughs> oh, fun. Oh, yeah, I see him now. He's got a little hitchhiker on him. Oh, Hoover's moving his way down. Or is he going to turn around? If he turns around or is he going into the bush? Well, if he's turning around, I'll hike back up there and make sure I don't get snapped. Also, Maybe he's hunting. Is Hoover hunting? I don't see anything over there, but... Also, look at that tail and look at them little legs. And once he comes back up on those, look at that! Little foot. See it? It's getting close to time for them to be laying eggs. 
maybe Hoover's finding us, maybe Hoover's a girl and is finding us spots in May. Well, they go up on land. Right now it's in the water, but you never know. We may be looking for a good spot down the creek. That explain all the little Hoover's running around. Mm-hmm. Looks like he's trying to scrape the snail off. Oh, maybe. Maybe he is trying to get rid of his rider. <laughs> well, either way, I think we got, both got to be a lot more careful here in the creek. With all these hoovers running around, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I never knew we'd see something like that running around in the creek. That proves that nature is everywhere, right? Yeah, this is, this year I have seen a fair bit of wildlife in the creek. And I saw a mink run by a few years ago. But other than a few minnows, I don't usually see anything back here. But this is the third snapper we've seen. And I saw a salamander the other day and froglets and frogs. So it must be a pretty healthy stream. Oh, good morning there, big beautiful Bob. How are ya? Are you taking a rest? It's about mid-morning. Better keep up with your boat. You don't want Hoover to get it. Oh, yeah. Get your balance. Try again. You can do it, Bob. <laughs> Shake them tail feathers. Yeah. How big are your wings? Can you show us? Bathroom time. We're practicing. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Hold on, hold on. Keep trying, you can do it. Something to eat. You're pecking at something. Playing with sticks. So far away, I can't see until I get it up on the big screen. Oh. That's right. Use those nice wings for balance. Memorial Day weekend. It looks like it should be a fairly decent weekend, so we probably ought to go camping at the same time. Still really going to be quite curious about what's happening back here. <laughs> How big old Gert Gertrude baby is doing here. I can't say Bob is little anymore. Bob's almost full grown. Probably another week or two. I thought by this time she'd be out on the branches, but she's not. Probably beginning of next week. It looks like she might have the, not, doesn't quite have the balance yet for the, going beyond the edge of the nest. But we'll see. Oh, I just saw a wing up. I thought she, I thought she was gonna do something. Maybe. 
Well, the tree has wings. Hi, Bob. What are you doing, Bob? Are you just standing? Oh, you're right up on the edge. face. Nope, nope, not ready. Not ready. I'll come back over here. <laughs> oh, you're cute, Bob. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next part in the series on Bob. Um, again, thank you. Bye for now.